<coughs> welcome to you all friends today <coughs> we are again going to look at a very good company called heritage foods limited <coughs> it is headed by the family of nara chandra babu naidu the present cm of uh, andhra pradesh the management is headed by nara bhuvaneshwari wife of uh, chandra babu naidu as a uh, vice chairman and uh, md <coughs> she is the md <coughs> brahmani nara nara brahmani executive director so it is family controlled <coughs> now uh, if you look at the details about the company the company has three divisions namely dairy retail and agriculture <coughs> Heritage milk products uh, have got the market presence in Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra. Retail stores are there in Bangalore, Chennai and Hyderabad. <coughs> Product range milk milk products etc. flavored milk, full cream milk, toned milk etc etc so I mean ice creams, breads, cookies. Company has got uh, business activities of agri, dairy, retail, bakery, renewable energy etc. <coughs> and it is improving every year <clears throat> now before going further we need to think about one uh, one aspect this company was embroiled in uh, you know political controversies company was not involved the family was involved in political controversies uh, in andhra pradesh politics all of you may be knowing uh, i am not going in detail into the political activities but uh, chandra babu naidu was being targeted uh, uh, as a opposition leader uh, Uh, so many problems were there <clears throat> all of you may be knowing that now uh, in the next to 5 years there should be no problems chandra babu naidu he is uh, holding the reins of andhra pradesh uh, with a uh, huge majority <clears throat> his opponents are down in the dumps therefore there should be no problem for heritage foods also <clears throat> for the next to 5 years it might grow very well in the next 5 years so that is one of the factors that you need to understand now we'll go into the uh, uh, q1 results net sales in q1 was 1033 crores in q uh, q4 that is previous quarter 951 crores and in q1 of last year it was 924 crores so it has been inching up from 924 crores in q1 last year to 951 crores in the previous quarter to 1033 crores in the latest quarter raw material cost is the highest cost and uh, it is almost static in all the three quarters 734 crores in the latest quarter now net profit has been growing very well from 16.74 crores to 42.13 crores in the previous quarter and 58.43 crores uh, 43 crores in the latest quarter equity is static at 46.4 now net sales have been growing inching upwards but i think uh, they should try to improve the sales uh, faster that is my feeling net profit of course has been growing up by leaps and bounds there is no problem <coughs> basic eps also has grown from 1.8 uh, in q1 of last year to 4.36 in the previous quarter to 6.3 in the latest quarter so impressive increase in the basic eps also <coughs> so sales have gone up <coughs> by just 1.8% in uh, the uh, uh, from the last q1 to the latest q1 <coughs> quarterly net profit is uh, has gone up by 249.07% in this one year ebitda has gone up by 141% in the last one year uh, eps has increased very well that we have seen the share price also is going up uh, reasonably well now i think the next 5 years should be a very good period for heritage foods the um, current market price is around 600 dollars 52 week uh, high is 727 volumes are 45 lakhs and dot it is very good for buying and selling <clears throat> so price momentum is uh, reasonably strong net cash flows have been rising from the operating activity uh, eps growth is very good net profit margins are also growing very well uh, quarterly net profit and uh, profit margin both have grown very well uh, 
<coughs> revenue has been growing in every quarter for the last uh, two quarters. Promoters pledge is zero. FIS have been increasing their shareholding. Now onwards, I think everybody will have confidence in heritage foods. <coughs> mutual funds, uh, we, if you look at the weaknesses, mutual funds have slightly decreased their holding. <coughs> now, non-core income has been growing uh, a little faster than core income. That uh, trend has to be reversed and core income should grow up faster. <coughs> but the price trend has been reasonably bullish. It has been a strong performer in that sense. <coughs> Financial performance is uh, very consistent and price performance also is reasonably good and analyst rating is buy. 100% of analysts are saying that it is a buy. Promoters holding is 41.3%. Mutual funds have decreased uh, uh, their holdings, FIIs have increased their holdings, institutional investors have decreased their holdings. Price is very near to the 52 week high, momentum is bullish. <coughs> so if you look at whether it was a multi-bagger, in one year it has been a multi-bagger, 115.69% price improvement was there, uh, but in three years the price increase is very dismal. But that is the past. Future could be very good. Nara Bhuvaneshwari has been able to withstand all the political pressures, etc. And uh, in the next five years, there should be no political pressures whatsoever. Uh, therefore, the company should grow from uh, strength to strength. <coughs> now, uh, in July month, uh, also generally, uh, the Heritage Foods has been giving very good returns. Why in Zolai? See, Zolai, August, etc. It should give good returns in future. <coughs> so, Heritage Foods is actually a very good company, and uh, uh, but it was subject to political pressures. Now there will be no political pressures for the next five years. Therefore, depending upon your uh, requirements, uh, examine Heritage Foods and see what you can do about that. Thank you. I will come up before you with another very good company, which means Heritage Foods also is a very good company.